hi, hello. <laughs> I'm just so excited to see you. Guess what? I have my phone on a stand right now. Oh my God. So the video will be a little less shaky. Can you believe it? You're not gonna get sick in this one. Maybe, I don't know. Cause guess what? From this angle, eh, you can see the little double chins. That's dope. From this angle, you can see Marvel, but guess what? The power of the man tits. That's right, these are boobs right here. Yeah. And then I got a little bit of a, a little bit of bingo wings going on. Oh my God, that's so hot. Ooh, that's so hot, right? Right? <laughs> Body image issues. Oh my, oh my G, right? Been dealing with it for so long. For so long. I would probably say maybe even before high school, I was getting a little chunky already, right? The family, they're like, you're big boned. Keep eating that food. Keep eating that food. You're gonna be an NFL star. And then the train just started going, right? I just kept pow, pow, pow throwing that food in and they're like, whoa, slow your roll, bro. And I'm like, what? I'm already eating this party size sub. <laughs> I'm being ridiculous. That's what I do when I feel awkward. But guess what? <sighs> That's life. You know, we feel awkward. We feel bad about ourselves. I don't care if you're a boy, girl, man, woman, centaur. I don't give a shit. If you're part of some sort of a society, a community, some sort of a group of people, they're gonna come together and they're gonna make these weird ass rules. They're gonna make this outline of how you should look, how you should act, what you should wear, everything you should buy. They're gonna say these things and they're gonna try to instill it in you because they want you to believe it. Now, I don't know if this is from corporations or just people that are like, I'm elite, this is what you need to look like. But a lot of times, even those people that are part of the elite, part of those top groups, they're not happy either. Everybody is gonna suffer from body image issues. Whether it's, you know, the society that's peer pressuring you into looking better, looking better, or it's just yourself coming up with these things that you're not good enough. I think a lot of body image issues, for me anyway, it derives from not feeling good enough in a community, not feeling good enough to myself. And in the beginning, I think you tell yourself, you know, I wanna look a certain way for people. I wanna look a certain way for somebody I'm trying to attract because I want love in some sort. I wanna look good so I can be cool and be part of that cool group or whatever, part of the elite. It can come from a lot of different places, but I feel like most of us suffer from it and it, it's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing to walk around in your body and and to not like what you see or to even, even worse, hate what you see every time you see yourself. And I understand that if you're overweight or you have some sort of scars, you have stretch marks, whatever it is, you don't like it, you hate it every time you see it, I understand that. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm cured and when I see myself, I don't feel like shit, you know, <laughs> because I already lost weight so many different times and then I gained it back and then I lost it and then I gained it back. And when I look in the mirror or I see the clothes that I'm wearing and it's really tight, I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't feel like shit. I do. But the difference is, is I'm trying to work through that because these things that we feel towards ourselves, these issues that we have with our own images, they're not going to get fixed if you lose a bunch of weight. They're not gonna get fixed if you get surgery of some sort, get a new nose, get new butt cheeks, I don't know. Whatever you get, it's not gonna make you feel better on the inside if you're not working on what you got going on. You know, you gotta work on the mental and the physical and if you're not okay with how you look, it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter how many accessories you get, it doesn't matter. I know that because I lost a bunch of weight and I didn't feel any better at all. Not at all. So I think the years of hating your own image, no matter what reason that you have, it's gonna be hard to break that. It's a habit, it's a way of thinking. And I can't say that if every day you wake up and you look in the mirror and you're like, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, that you'll believe it one day, but you are. And maybe you don't believe it. <laughs> it would I be telling you the truth if I looked in the mirror and said, I think I'm beautiful. No, I don't. I fucking, I hate seeing my own image. Not my face, I think my face is all right, but my body, I don't like seeing that. It's evidence of me fucking up. It's evidence of just not looking good, like to me. 
Now, I'm not even talking about society and what society thinks. I, just me in general, when I see my own body, it doesn't look good. <laughs> so, and obviously I know people would judge me if they saw me naked or whatever. They'd be, he's gross, he's fat, whatever. That's sad and that would hurt my feelings, but I'm looking deeper at, you know, what I think when I see myself. And I'm making progress. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm making progress because I spent a really long time just not even looking at the mirror. <laughs> you know, I'd look for some eye boogers here and there, whatever, pop a pimple. <laughs> but as far as looking like this down, nah, dog, I don't wanna look at that. I didn't, but I do now because I'm working on things. And that's how I think that you could feel better about your own image, okay? You have to learn to stop thinking about what everybody else is thinking. And that is really hard in the society that we live in, but that, those are the facts. You have to start learning what is wrong with my image, why do I think this? Is it because I care about what everybody else thinks? Then you need to try to break out of that because if that's what your motivation is, when you think you get to that place of looking better, whatever you think that is, you're gonna feel the same. There's so many people out there that lose a ton of weight, that get surgeries, that buy all kinds of accessories, whatever it is, they're not happy on the inside. So that's the most important part I feel like. Now I'm not saying if you wanna get a nose job or you wanna get some kind of surgery to lose weight, surgery to take off some of the fat, I'm not against that because I'm gonna do that. I got a lot of extra skin going on here and when I lose even more weight, I'm gonna need to do that for comfort and for cosmetic purposes to make me feel better. But I'm doing it for the right reasons, I feel like, for me to be more comfortable, to be more comfortable in my skin. Mentally wise, you're gonna have to condition yourself because it's a lifetime habit of disliking yourself, punishing yourself because you gained weight, because of whatever reason why you dislike your image. You need to analyze that, figure out where that's coming from, and you gotta start fighting it. You gotta start working every single day, you know, being positive about it, working towards fixing. If you're not happy with your image because of a weight issue or whatever it is that you can work towards fixing as far as physical goes, I'm telling you, the fact that I'm working on things and I'm working so hard and I'm doing so much better, that when I see myself, of course, I'm not happy with how I look. But I'm so much happier knowing that I'm fixing it. I'm working towards being happier about it. So I'm working towards it mentally, learning how to just build my foundation and know that the finally my motivation is just to be happy. I wanna be healthy, I wanna live longer, I wanna be able to do things that I can't do right now because of just how big I am. Those are the things that are important to me. You know, I wanna find my true love, I wanna start a family, all those things. Those are the things that you should be focusing on, not what everybody else thinks about you and all that stuff. Because in the end, those people, that's not what matters. If you're going out there and you're looking a certain way for a group of people or whatever, when you go home and you still don't like who you are on the outside and on the inside, that's shitty. So, if you are not happy with your image, which a lot of people are not, the best thing to do, like I said, is to work on it mentally, work on being more positive, figure out where those feelings are coming from, and doing whatever it is that you can do to fix that physical part that you don't like if it's healthy and it's good for you. So, <laughs> Other people tell you that you're beautiful. I'm gonna tell you you're beautiful. I'll tell myself that I'm beautiful. Everybody's unique. If everybody was supposed to be the same, that'd be boring. Communities get together and they say, you all gotta look this way. You all gotta buy that. You all gotta do this. It's time to start doing what you want, what you are gonna be happy about. And that's what I'm doing right now. We can do it together. So if you're feeling down on your image, Let's work on it. I'm out here working on it every single day. You might be getting bored hearing me say that, but I want to say that. I want you to hear that I'm here and I'm doing it every single fucking day. And I want you to come with me. Let's work on this shit. I'm not happy about how this looks, but I'm working on it and you could do it too. Let's get it.